My name is Jaylene Cuevas and I graduated from Southern in 2019 with a Bachelor's of Science in Journalism and I currently work at Hearst Connecticut Media Group. So I'm a statewide trending reporter here at Hearst and I like to say we write a lot of the the happy stories. Um, you write everything that's just trending. So the way Southern prepared me is just giving me the angle, giving me the reason to do what I love. I'm very passionate about entertainment and pop culture and just making a difference in communities. Being in the radio station, you know, even though my, my show was all about what's going on in the world, again, that's what I write about every day. It's about what's going on in the world, or at least the world being Connecticut. So right after I graduated Southern, I started doing little like YouTube videos and Instagram videos, interviewing people from Connecticut, and I would put it on YouTube, and that's how I, you know, started like my on-air kind of thing, right? But then it wasn't paying bills. I was just doing it for fun. So I actually got a job during the pandemic, right in the beginning, like right when I hit at WTNH in New Haven. And I was there doing the assignment desk. So the assignment desk is like what we like to call the heart of news. Without that, you wouldn't see what you see on TV. So I would send reporters and my photographers to certain scenes just so we can get that out there so you guys will see it on TV. As soon as that, you know, was a year and a half in WTNH, I applied to hers. I got a job as a training reporter. And now instead of sending crews to areas and, you know, finding the story, that's me now. So I'm finding my own stories, writing the stories. And it can be just mostly like anything that's trending. If something's national and we still have that Connecticut connection, boom. That's my story. As a good example, there was a, a guy in Hartford who started his own handbags and he used his mother as his model. And come like out of nowhere, they went viral on Twitter. Cardi B found out, she tweeted about it, found the Connecticut connection and I interviewed him. And it's just like, you know, profiling people, telling their stories, telling about their business. Very different than something that, you know, was very hard news and breaking to something more like gives people hope and gives them like, oh, if they can do it, I can too.